If you've just installed window film and you're a little concerned about all the little bubbles that are left behind and that hazy appearance, what have you done wrong? And how do you fix it? Well, this video is just for you. Stick around. G'day, I'm Kent. If you have old window film that's looking like this, like this, like this, or like this. I'm sorry to say, but that window film is shot. There's a card just there, you can click on that. That'll take you to a video which shows you my best tips on how to remove old window film. You might have just recently installed some new window film, exactly how the manufacturer has explained to do it. Followed all the rules, but you've still got all these little bubbles and a bit of a hazy appearance. The cool thing is if those bubbles are just water, which is normally after an install, they'll disappear within a week. We just need a little bit of sunlight and warmth and the rest of the adhesives will absorb that excess moisture and the bubbles will disappear. And the same goes for that hazy appearance. Just give the window film a little bit of time and so long as you've cleaned the glass really well without an ammonia based window cleaner, then your window film, your windows are gonna be crystal clear soon enough. It's a different story with air bubbles on older tint. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but they're not going anywhere. Air bubbles are the enemy. But while the film is new and still pliable, you can use a little bit of heat to soften the film and the adhesives. You can use a hot air gun for this or a hairdryer, but bear in mind this won't work on old brittle film. There's two techniques. The first is to warm up the tint Poke a single hole in the center of the bubble using a pin, being careful not to tear the film. And then with soapy water and a squeegee, squeeze the bubble down flat. Or you can use your fingers to try and push the air out. I don't like this technique because I've only ever been successful at making the bubble disappear completely one time. And I feel now that we've got a hole in the tint in the film, allowing air back in, moisture, dust and dirt, and that will really cause an ugly problem later on, like this bubble has done, which is near the edge of the window. A much better way, I feel, is to warm up the window a little bit around the bubble and all the way to the closest edge. This makes the film a little more flexible and it softens the adhesives. Then with some of that baby shampoo mix to make it slippery, use a firm squeegee to work the bubble towards the edge of the film. I'll show you how it goes without using any heat. Hear the film crackling as the bubble forces its way through the cold adhesive. It ends up stretching the film and leaving wrinkles and I reckon that looks worse than bubbles. If you need a little help with your window tinting DIY, click on this playlist just here. There's lots of good tips in these videos. I'll see you there.